Hey everybody, this is John and today we're looking at more interview questions. This will probably be the second last question we're going to look at and it is what are your strengths or tell me about your strengths. So here the interviewer really wants to know if you have the right skills and experience for the job as well as how well you will perform and how well you will fit in with the rest of the team. So actually this question can be a bit difficult as we often feel awkward talking about what makes us feel great. However, you need to remember that this is your chance to showcase your skills and why you are suited for the job. And you don't want to be too humble and also you don't want to brag too much. So first we need to identify our strengths and similar to the last video we should look at hard skills, soft skills and personality such as how you interact with people and write down the skills you think you have and try to compare them to those listed in the job description. For example, if the job description mentions it requires multitasking, then it's a good idea to mention that you're a good multitasker. And we discussed it in more detail in the last video, but we'll look at soft and hard skills again briefly. You can pause the video for a minute to look at it. Um, I've just highlighted a few difficult words such as quantifiable, it just means uh, measurable. So what should we do? I think the best thing to do is make a list of roughly 10 strengths you have. These can be any 10, doesn't have to be related directly to the job. And if you need some help thinking of all of these, you can ask a friend or someone in your family. And then we're going to pick three to five of these and in detail we should write about them and these should be the ones we think are really important and hopefully some of them should match those skills mentioned in the job application. So again, you can mention skills or strengths that are not directly mentioned in the job description as these can also be really important, especially if you believe they will give you an edge over the other people applying. And during the interview, you also don't need to mention all five of these strengths. However, I think it's a good idea to have, uh, to have one or two extra ones memorized just in case they ask you some follow-up questions. So this is what we want to say. We want to make sure our strengths don't sound simple or basic. We want them to be specific and we want to try to think of a way to make them sound more unique when compared to other people. And you should always try to relate these strengths to the job if you can and tell a little story or give a brief description showing how you have proven that you have these skills or these strengths. And again, it is perfectly fine to mention non-specific strengths to the job uh, just make sure that at least one or two of them are related directly to the position you're applying for and you don't need to tell a story about every single one of your strengths, maybe just one main story that shows how you have shown one or two strengths in the past and for the less important strengths you can just state them and give a brief description. This is what we should not do, we shouldn't be too humble, again you are here to impress you don't want to be not specific or forget to explain your strengths. So you want to explain at least most of your strengths and give an example. And the example I have here, which is not so good, is my strengths. I'm great at customer service, marketing sales, writing, and I'm also very punctual. So actually these strengths are pretty good. However, they have not explained a single one of them or related them to the job directly. Um, you could, for example, show them how you are a good marketer or sales person. You could say that your sales target was met and you went above the average for that year or for that holiday. And the very last point here, I'm very punctual. It just means I come to work on time. So this is not a very impressive strength because this is something that is ex expected of you. However, you could edit this to say that you are very good at meeting deadlines for work and that sounds more impressive. So these are some final examples. These are better ones that I wanted to tell you about. This one here is, I noticed that attention to detail was listed as a desirable skill for this position. I'd say that attention to detail is probably my greatest strength. 
So here the person has obviously read the job description. They have mentioned an important skill and how they have it. The only thing I would add to this is they haven't explained a story or something like that to show that they have that skill. That would be something that you would definitely add on. And the second one here is, I see myself as a great problem solver. I see situations from different perspectives. So this means from different ways. And I finish my work even in the face of obstacles. So even when there's problems, I always get my work finished. So again, very good. They have explained their skill a bit. So that's the end of the video, everyone. You can email me suggestions. Thank you very much.